Welcome guys, HackMods here with lesson 2 of MySQL. Today we'll be learning adding table column names, changing column names, adding table records, changing table records, deleting table records, deleting columns and deleting tables and databases. Just follow along, we'll be using My MySQL Workbench, you could use MySQL. Ok, open up the instance of your local MSQ, L. Okay, first off, we'll go through as a recap of the tables and columns and databases we created last in the last lesson. Okay, so we got columns within the tables. We created a table called credentials, one called PS3 games, and one called identities. Okay, start off by using the database that we want to use. I'll first we'll show the show database command to show the active databases. You can run it by pushing control and enter at the same time or you can hit the lightning. So, so we found the show database. Uh, now we'll use the um, hack mods database. So use hack mods. Okay, first we'll be using the select PS3 games to, to bring up the records. We only inserted three in the last tutorial. This one we'll be adding more, changing names and changing records. So first off, we'll be altering the table Identif identity. Will be the table. Maybe you had a different table name. Just go along with whatever table you created. Okay, we'll be adding a column. And we'll call it phone number and we'll give an int value and uh, we'll give it a 14 value for 14 characters long and we'll be adding it after the gender column okay we'll add a new another one alter table We'll alter the PS3 games. We'll add a um, column to it. We'll call the column. Um, what can we call it? We'll call it uh, purchase date. Okay, it's a date function. And we'll, we'll give it to after the console um, uh, column. Okay, run that with control and enter or push the lightning. Okay, there we go, we've got the gender and now we'll refresh it. We've got the phone numbers at the table uh, column we just inserted and the purchase date we've just inserted into them two tables. So that's how you insert columns. Okay, next we'll alter the table PS3 games and we'll change the column name, purchase date, we'll change it to date purchased. Date of purchase. And it's a date function. Okay, we've ran that. Next we'll do, do an insert for some records into the table, into PS3 games. We'll set the value, all separated by um, single, single apostrophe, single um, whatever them lines are, separated by commas. 
Okay, in the game name we'll give Advanced Warfare. In the um, game rating we'll give it a rating of 10. In the console we'll give it PS4. Date of purchase. And the date of purchase is year, month, day. Okay, we'll run that. Okay, now we'll do the lookup query. Select game name. Select is a statement that looks for. So we're looking for game name and date of purchase and console. From, from is a command from the PS3 um, games table. Where the ID is equivalent to four. Four being the new record we just inserted, so it should bring up Advanced Warfare. There we go. Advanced Warfare date of purchase, and it was a PS4 game. Okay, now we'll just select all the records within that table of PS3 games. It'll be whatever tables you created, and the, or if you're following along and you've got a PS3 games table too, well, all good. So that brought up all the records within the table. Okay, now we're going to update hacked mods database, and and the table is going to be credentials. And we're going to set the game rating. We're going to rename it. I oh, know. Sorry, we're going to set the game rating to a different value. A bit of a typo. Okay, so set set as command. It's set obviously, and we're setting game rating within the hack mods database within the PS3 table, and we're making the game rating. It's right now. It's on um, two. It's on ten. We're going to set it to two, with it where the ID equals four. So advanced warfare is rating ten right now, but it's about to be rating two. This is um, altering the text within the database. Okay, so now we'll select to verify that it worked. Select from PS3 games. There we go. Advanced Warfare has now got a game rating of 2. All these commands can be used in MySQL client. I'm just showing in, in, in um, Workbench as a um, graphical display. Okay, next we'll be deleting from the um, from the PS3 games table. Where ID equals what are we going to make it? What are, what record are we going to delete? We we'll delete two, so we we'll delete Modern Warfare three. Okay, execute that with control and enter or the lightning. Okay, now we'll select to verify it worked. You don't have to keep selecting, but I'm just showing you how, how it operates. Okay, so now we've got record two is missing, deleted. So we've got record one, three, and four. Okay, next we'll be altering the table. And we'll be altering credentials. Oh, I might actually select from credentials so you can see what we're, we're altering and whatnot. Okay, select from credentials. So there we've got um, credentials. We've got ID, school, high schools, college, year 10 completed, year 12 completed. Okay, we'll be altering the columns in the table credentials okay we'll be dropping column year 10 year 12 
certificate. It will be dropping the column year 12 certificate from the credentials table. Okay, we've run that with control and enter. Okay, now we'll just alter another table, PS3 games table. And we'll drop a different column from the PS3 games table. Game rating, we'll delete that game column. So we've got game rating. Now we'll run the code, refresh, and game rating will be gone. There we go. Okay, now we'll be dropping a table. The PS3 games table will drop that. Drop is delete. So therefore, there you go. We've ran that and the table um, PS3 games has been dropped. Okay, now we'll drop the databases. This is how you delete databases and tables with the drop command or drop tables or drop database. And we'll be dropping the hack mods. There we go. It's it's deleted. Okay, now to get the, the codes back so you can re reinsert your database and stuff that we've created from the lessons, just um, grab the file in the description and copy and paste it into the um, query and run it. It'll recreate the database and within ta uh, and include tables and um, columns, plus the value records that we've inserted. There we go, it's all back to normal. Even though we did drop the record, we've reinstalled it. Hope this has helped. Hope you have learnt how to um, insert values into tables within databases and um, alter the column names and um, insert rows and delete rows and delete tables and databases. I'm HackMods. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Support the channel. Thank you.